Hey, how you doing? It's Jared Abrams with What Up in Camera, NAB 2013. I'm here with Richard Schluning from Carl Zeiss Lenses. Richard, we were just talking about 4K cameras and how different cameras and different sensors will produce different images. Can you kind of explain that to our audience, please? Yeah, you know, we have the we have a benefit that Zeiss works on both the, the still side of the business and the, and the motion capture side of the business. So we know from the still side that, you know, resolution's going up. But the physical size of the chip is not. So, you know, the question is, on a camera like a Nikon D800, how do they achieve 36 megapixel on a camera where like a 5D Mark III is you know, under 23 megapixel? So they do it by packing more pixels into the same physical uh, sensor size. The very, you know, it's very much the same case on the motion side of the business. 4K cameras are not all made the same, right? So their advertise is all 4K. Filmmaker may look at them going and be, okay, well, they must be then interchangeable. A 4K camera from Sony, from Canon, from RED, mix them all together, it's still 4K. But there's actually two different, very different paths of achieving high resolution on these sensors that really no one in the industry is really talking about right now. And, and it really kind of fits our message with the Zeiss lenses, which I'll kind of get to in a second. So I'll give you two wildly different examples. And, and then the form factors of these cameras are very different. Forget that for the second. So you look at a camera like the F65 from Sony, 4K camera but it's an APS-C sensor, Super 35 sensor size. They achieve high resolution by packing more pixels into the sensor, not by going with a physically larger sensor size. So, and, and if you do the math, the pixel sizes are actually very similar in size, about four microns to the D800. And we know from the still photography world that if that camera separates good glass from bad glass really quickly, especially at the edges. So you have to match the right glass with a camera that has these small pixel sizes. If you want to resolve this kind of medium to fine detail, weave a fabric and things like this, you need a lens that can resolve a really small photo site. So if you don't match the right lens with a high-end camera like the F65, you're basically wasting your rental money or if you own the camera. You really, you have to take the time to really match high quality optics with a, a, a sensor that uses, again, these, these very small pixels. On the other side of it, you have a camera like the Canon 1DC another 4K camera, but very different than the F65. Forget the fact that one's a DSLR and the other's a digital cinema camera. If you look you know, strictly at the sensor, the Canon sensor uses a pixel that's almost seven microns. Right? So it's a, it's a much larger sensor than what the F65 is doing. They achieve 4K through a physically larger chip. It's a 24 by 36 chip. It's about twice the size as a Super 35. The lensing requirement for that 4K camera is very different than the Sony F65. There, because the pixel size is bigger, you don't necessarily need that high resolution glass, but you need glass that covers a 43 millimeter image circle. So you need that bigger chip. So make a long story short, what we're actually talking about here in the booth is that our lenses give filmmakers that independence. It doesn't matter what camera, because our lenses, you know, our CP2 lenses, because they are derived from our SLR glass, our SLR lenses are designed for high resolution cameras like the D800. So they're able to resolve that fine detail, plus the fact that CP2s cover the biggest chip on the market, the 2436. So I can use them on cameras like a 1DC, I can use them on high resolution 4K cameras that pack a lot of pixels into the sensor. So filmmakers, I think as they start to look at their camera options in the future, just really need to understand what path did that camera company take to getting high res. The Red Dragon sensor, right? To get 6K out of that new sensor, they went with a little larger sensor size. It needs about, I think, a 34 and a half millimeter diagonal, which means a lot of the legacy PL lenses may not cover the corners. So you're gonna need, you're gonna need a piece of glass on that you know, camera that's gonna cover that bigger chip. So again, it really fits well to our message here. As always, Richard Schlinning, giving us great knowledge from Carl Zeiss Lenses. Thank you so much, Richard. All right, thanks.